Today's clash is the WSB Cape Cobras hosting the table topping Warriors in this year's CSA T20 Challenge. Rory Kleinfeld of the WSB Cape Cobras has won the toss and will bowl. Thumps it straight down the ground, uncompromising stroke. May not go all the way, but there was no doubting his intent. It does, in fact, get to the fence. It was a teasing chase, but that's so typical Bretzka. Doesn't need a look, just a flat batted swat straight back past the bowler. Helped on its way around the corner. It's not going to be a chase for Blinda Hill. Watch it go. It's a good first over this for the Warriors. They've got 11 from it. Smear down through mid on. It'll go away for four. Down the hill towards the President's Suite. Bretzka means business. Up in the air it goes, man going back, should be out, will be out, is taken. The ultra boldness of Matthew Bretzka has led to his downfall. Yanaman Milan takes the simple catch and the Warriors lose their first with the score on 21. Cracked through the covers for four, that is Clutie at his best. Through the offside. Knocked him over, full and straight. And Bakaku has got the breakthrough. The skipper of the Warriors has been knocked over. What a delivery, Bakaku. Thrown up and he's gone hard. Extra cover has been peppered. Leaning back, he loves that area. That's Gian Clutti. Oh, drag down and that's gone high. Fielder under it. He doesn't make a mistake. George Lynn has got a great set of hands. And he's got the long hops, got the wicket. Who would have thought? Oh, he's, has he made a mess of it, Verena? Delayed appeal, going upstairs. There, the stump is broken there for me. Hey, Robbie, gone. Yeah, that's gone ski for me, John. I know the decision hasn't come up on the big screen, but there we see it now. He's gone, big wicket for the Cobras. The unlikely source of viewer Makajima picking up his second wicket. There's the reverse sweep and that's a great shot. Yeah, nothing you can do about that. A bit of skill from him. Guepa said he needs a score for the Warriors tonight. He's pulled it. The result is four, but still not in control at all of the stroke. Good shot, bumper. Close, close, gone. Another one for Aviwe Gajima. What a day he's having. That looked out from the word go. And Guepe trying to heave him unceremoniously over deep mid wicket. And it smiles all round from Gajima. Up in the air it goes. I think he's given it away. Who wants it? No one. Oh, my word. They nearly did it again. Umler and Patterson looked at each other, looked at the bowler. They can laugh now, but Patterson has taken the catch. And Kashile, I'm afraid he's got caught in a high gear, perhaps a little bit too much, and he's lobbed the timid on. It's a good stroke. It's a very good stroke for four. In the air and another one goes. They're giving it away here, the Warriors. Pukaku takes the catch. Another flat batted stroke holds out at mid on. Just a bit of width there, and it's a good stroke. This will go for four. It just shows your margin for error on the surface as a small one. There was just a hint of width that enabled the clerk to throw the arms at it, and he played it beautifully. Catch Down the track, good looking shot. Dead straight. And goes all the way for four. Terrific stroke. He's gone big again, and we've seen this many times. Someone's under it. Yes, he holds on to it successfully. And that is another one. Just when the partnership starts developing, another wicket falls. Oh, watch out. Watch out. That's huge. What a shot. Off air, Robbie Peterson called it beautifully. And that's gone hard, bold and handsome, all the way for six. What a way to finish the innings.
Superb batting and hitting from Sasanda Magala. Two sixes from him, 25 not out at the end. And the Warriors eventually get over that 150 mark. His partner in crime, De Klerk, also a handy little knock, a great partnership of 31 to finish. Early doors was a bit of a horror show for the Warriors. Clutty 28, but after that there were wickets falling aplenty and not many partnerships at all to speak about. A wonderful evening, afternoon, what a place. The Cobras, they are going to be needing 152 runs to win. With given and slapped through the covers, that's running away. Brietzky's putting in the hard yards. Oh, he's knocked it on in four. Flat batted, and that has gone through the covers like a rocket. Not much foot movement, but the bat doing all the talking. Oh, another firm stroke, and he's beaten the man in mid wicket. Racing away, is he going to get it? Great effort. But it goes for four in the end. Yes, Sir Pamela. What a stroke, what a stroke. If there has been a better one in this game this evening, I've yet to see it. That was absolutely the straightest blade you could ever wish to see. Oh, he's hit that miles, it's on the bank. I think he was expecting that, Robin. He got the half volley, the one before, and he knew that Sir Pamela would drag his length back, and he was almost waiting. Smashed away again, and four more. Sir Pamela has no answer to this onslaught. And there it is. He breaks a record by going to that 50 of 25 balls. The previous fastest is jointly held by Stian Fonsale and Dane Vilas, and they took 26 balls to get that. He's gloved it down the leg side, is Amla. Well, the misery continues for Hashim Amla. Thought he might get away with that because Milan didn't middle it, but he's got enough on it to slide it away for four. The runs continue to flow from the Milan bat. Ooh. Down the ground, miscued, should be taken. Oh, six, it's caught in six. As he slid to the ground. That's straight, hard. And Smuts couldn't get a hand on it, and neither can Lotloff. John John Smuts, he's in the firing line. What a shot. Inside out. What a lovely stroke that is on the R. Wow. Use of the feet going wide of long on. No, he's picked out the fielder, unfortunately, for Beddingham. It's a pummel of the fielder. To clack the bowler. There's a bit of confusion out there, but that's out. Yes. Over extra cover. Got in a great position and fours the result. It's a very good cricket shot. Didn't try and hit it too hard. Over extra cover. Another boundary. Pulled away, it's high. Fielder is not going to get it. It goes all the way for six. Short hit over cover. He's getting under it as the fielder. Straight to him and he holds on. So Pamela, it's Linda, he's gone for nine or four. Cobras, 141 for three. Push for two is the call. Philander's coming back. And there's a good throw, stump side and a referral. This is as close as you'll ever get to a run out. So the decision is coming. Yanaman Malan with bated breath sees not out and he sees a hundred. It's not a great celebration.
but it is now touch anticlimactic he had to wait for it so long but that has been an incredible innings 55 balls 1 6 12 fours it's the second hundred ever in t20 cricket on this ground they'll get them now they're coming back for the second on the throw he's in and it's fitting it is fitting that Yanaman Milan has seen them home. That is a momentum building victory for the WSB Cape Cobras after the ignominy of their humiliation on Wednesday night in Benoni. How they've bounced back and they've bounced back through this man. As emphatic a run chase as you'd like to see, as good a T20 innings as you're likely to see, 103 or 57 balls. They managed to get 151 thanks to a little gem at the end from Magala who elevated them to that position. But it never proved enough even though it was the highest run chase ever on this ground. It was made mockery of by Yanaman Malan who made the second hundred on this ground. He saw the Cobras home by seven wickets. <laughs>